Monash Sustainable Development Institute is Wing Se, who is reducing prejudice against migrants. Remember your first day at uni or a new job? You're new. You don't even know the most basic of things like where the toilets are. So you go to orientation, find out where your desk is, maybe even get set up with a computer, because they're the things that you need in order to do your job or to study. But then in the weeks that follow, you realise that your colleagues and your classmates are not particularly inclusive. They don't say hello to you. They don't respond to your questions. So even though you've got the desk, the computer, it's not enough to overcome a hostile environment. For many migrants in Australia and all over the world, that is their day-to-day -day reality. Even though they have employment skills training, language skills training and other migrant services, they face prejudice. So what can we do to reduce prejudice against migrants? Well, my systematic review focusing on field experiments suggests that contact, like what we're doing here, is one of the most commonly used effective approaches for reducing prejudice. But it's not enough just to understand what works. If we want to have the broadest possible impact, we also need to understand which interventions are scalable. So contact, even though effective, is one of the harder to scale approaches because you need participants to be willing to meet. So my research draws on the expertise of academics and practitioners to understand the challenges and the characteristics for successfully scaling prejudice reduction interventions. So what might such an intervention look like? Well, my proposed intervention draws from the theoretical approach of perceived variability. So the underlying premise is that if you can increase someone's perception of their ability within a particular group, then you reduce prejudice against that group. Because it's hard to hold prejudice against a group of dissimilar people. So, rather than the homogenous images of migrants that you get when you do a Google search, if migrants could be viewed as different ages, genders and personalities, as in the top right there, then prejudice could be reduced. And this approach is scalable because it lends itself to digital formats. So in bringing together what works, what is scalable, and applying it to a new prejudice reduction intervention, my research just might help build a more socially inclusive society for